Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from Headingley, where Doncaster are today's visitors, and they'll be hoping to pick up two points that will take them away from that relegation zone in the first division. They are strengthened today by the inclusion of Colin Maskell. There was some doubt over the weekend as to whether Colin would be playing, but unfortunately, or fortunately for Doncaster, that has all been sorted out now. And for Leeds, well, they had a doubt about Alan Tate. Alan Tate going down with the flu in the middle of the week, but he seems to have recovered and takes his place at fullback. So both sides virtually at full strength, what promised to be a tremendous game encounter today. And one man with the ball in his hands, Mark Farrer. Signed from Otley Rugby Union uh, earlier on this season. Exciting prospect at scrum half. And what a difference seven days makes to Ellery Hanley last week at this time. Of course, he was uh, coming out of the Great Britain side at Ellen Road for the Test match, and here he is, back as a player with Leeds. And leading the liners out for this afternoon's game. So I'll run through the teams for you. For Leeds, Alan Tate's recovered from flu and takes his place at full-back. Jim Fallon, Kevin Iroh, Craig Innes, Francis Cummins. Are the three quarters with Gary Schofield and Patrick Haunt at the halves. That means there's no place for uh, Graham Holroyd, who's played in the A-team last week and has recovered from uh, a shoulder injury. Harvey Howard starts the first game for a while. James Laws and George Mann. Gary Mercer, Richie Ayers and Ellery Hanley are the pack. And the substitutes, Neil Harmon and a senior fine Marlow. And for Doncaster, well, they've got South African Jamie Bloom, that's number one, Terry Manning, Via Matawatia, Mike Neal and David Evans, Alex Green and Matt Farrer are the halves, Wayne Jackson, Colin Maskell, Glenn Lingard, the front row with Tony Bowes, Sonny Wackeroo, Tony Miller making up the pack, Brendan Carlisle and Audley Pennant are the substitutes. And the referee for this afternoon is Mr David Campbell of Widness. So Doncaster, they certainly haven't come here. Doncaster, they certainly haven't come here with uh, to lose this game. They'll be well fired up this afternoon. And they've certainly given one or two sides a uh, terrific fright. And they had a record defeat against them by uh, Wilkinson Rovers. And then promptly went and destroyed Castleford the week after by a very big score. So it shows you there's plenty of spirit in the Doncaster side. And Leeds, the feeling is that while they're second in the league, they haven't played particularly well. And that someday, soon, someday is going to cop a real hiding. Doncaster will be open, of course, that today it's not them. And that the Leeds uh, attacking machine finally doesn't click into gear. So Leeds are going to kick off and they'll be playing from right to left. And Ellery Hanley just uh, making sure the mascot gets his tracksuit top. Excellent captain, Ellery Hanley, and great with the kids. And just a pat on the back for Gary Schofield. So the Leeds get the game underway, and Jamie Bloom, the South African, strong running. Great tackle coming in immediately from Innes. And here comes Terry Monning, the former Keithley and Featherston uh, man who's caused Leeds lots of problems with his direct running in the past. It's Tony Bowles. Giant of a second row man. Uh, Lynn Lingard just taking the ball up and a good tackle coming in from Iroh and Mercer. And Leeds looking to keep Doncaster pinned down in their own quarter. Matt Farrar has the ball, takes Craig Innes and Gary Schofield on and bites the dust. And caught offside. Patrick Haunter, so the first penalty of the game goes to Doncaster. Inside the 10 metres there, decided David Campbell, so Doncaster have the chance to uh, put some pressure on Leeds in their half of the field in these early stages. Jamie Bloom. And that's a long spinning kick, and that finds a good touch. Just uh, 30 metres from the Leeds line, it's Farrow with the tap, finds Maskill. Sonny Wackero just storming through there, but no way through for the New Zealander. Maskell again, looking for the drop off. Tony Bowles straight into Harry Howard. And quite a good uh, section of vocal support for the Dons this afternoon. Maskell again now, finds Fada. Fada. 
We're going to take men on. Looks to go himself there. And Harry Howard wraps him up and brings him down right in front of the post, 20 metres from the line. Doncaster moving the wall to their left. Maskell puts the chip through. And Alan Tate safely in his arms. And the first spelling position for Leeds is with Alan Tate. So Jim Fallon now looks to uh, try and break the Doncaster ranks. They'll be certainly keen and fired up in these early stages to keep Leeds. Pen back, George Mann, knee heavily bandaged. Running into Jackson. Mercer now. Leeds looking to run that ball out of the quarter with the forwards. Schofield. And Richie Ayres is on a break now and just stumbling there as he got through. But up to the last tackle now and on track screaming for the ball on this side. And Schofield will plant the kick over the top. Jamie Bloom takes the ball there on the first bounce. Looked like that was going to bounce uh, into touch. And Jamie Bloom it is who just uh, steps back to contact but straight back into the cover. David Evans, Jackson, Mann, no nonsense tackling there from Mann and uh, Craig Innes, Farah moving the ball, Omar to Atiyah, Terry Manning again, full weight of Harry Howard who drops him down on the halfway line and we're up to the last tackle now, so the ball back for Maskell to put the kick in. Us, Colin Maskell, well fired up this afternoon, his first game back at Headingley after his transfer to Doncaster. Didn't really want to leave Leeds, but saw no prospect of first team football and uh, elected to try his luck at Taddersfield. So the scramble form just uh, 10 metres out from the touchline and uh, 20 metres from that Leeds line as Patrick Hontau works Leeds' his first feed of the afternoon. Francis Cummins it is who takes the ball in. Craig Innes straight in play up, coming back, looking to try and force off Matua Tia. James Lowe's just uh, fooling everyone there, acting half back and makes a half break. Hanley now, first touch of the ball for Hanley, lovely ball away. Leads opening out now. Good cover tackling coming in on airs as he looks at his options there, that's a penalty to Leeds. He wants a very good attacking position for the line of Schofield. Will find a good deep touch there, finds it inside the 20 metres. So now George Mann will drive this ball towards that Doncaster line. Runs straight at Maskell, Maskell brings him down. Harvey Howard again, switching play, that's good, clever play. Hanley's put the ball down. And it's Doncaster in possession. The penalty goes against Patrick Hunter. Who's claiming that he was the one that was being held down? So Jamie Bloom again. Mass kill. Lingard. And it's Matt Farrah acting there, finds Wayne Jackson. Jackson looking to offload the ball, but good smother tackling there from Schofield and Orn tap. Again, Farrah, quick ball to Maskell, Maskell. And George Mann brings him down. Farrah again. Pull it over pass for Alex Green. And Jim Fallon wraps up the dong, cast a winger. David Evans. And now the kick comes in on the last tackle. And that will find touch 10 metres from the Leeds line. Well, have a 10 metre scrum. The head and ball to the liners. To 
and on tap feeds Fallon Kevin Aero first touch of the ball for the big Kiwi shoves off the first tackle can't get the ball away Innes was in support there George Mann Harvey Howard and a good tackle coming in there from Tony Miller on the rampant Harvey Howard Mercer brought down that's a good tackle and leads up to the last tackle and Schofield with the ball in his hands just pops that over for Jamie Bloom the ball bouncing awkwardly causing him to check but finally he's resting his arms and he has the legs on Ontak there, but Ontak just angle tapped him. Roll of the crowd there as Patrick Ontak bringing him down. <laughs> David Campbell gives the Doncaster a penalty, saying that Richie Ayres didn't. Um, no need to throw him back down, but I don't think Ayres had uh, heard that the referee had called the tackle. And give the benefit of doubt to Richie Ayres there. Tony Bowes takes play into the leads half of the field. Fadden again finds Maskell Jackson. Lingard. Alex Green drop off inside there. That's for Jamie Bloom who's straightening up now. Maskell. Ice the bomb, that's spinning across field, Alan Tate's underneath it. Takes the tackle and Mark Farris tackle as well, sorry, takes the ball and Mark Farris tackle, that's good play there from the scrum half. Fallon. No way through there for Jim Fallon. And Craig Innes will now relieve his forwards and bring this run, runs at Mark Farrer. The penalty there against Lingard for uh, holding down in the tackle. Ball finding a good touch, just short of halfway, and George Mann powers into the Doncaster half of the field. Maskey hanging on for grim death there, as if his life depended on that. On tap, I'll give her the drop off, finds Mercy. Oh, good play there from Richie Ayres, who's having a tremendous last few weeks. Richie Ayres, he's been in great form. James Lowe's showing the ball, going himself. And that's going to be a penalty to Leeds. Passing off the floor. Jackson cleaned up the loose ball. But Ellery Hanley had hold of him. And passed out of the tackle. So Leeds, I'm sure, will... Uh, Attempt to go for goal here. This is right in front of the post. So Francis Cummins will uh, kick at goal. It's not too difficult for a kicker of his uh, renowned Francis. It's just outside the... Uh, well, halfway between the 10 metres and the 20, about 15 metres from the uh, post, and it's just to the side. And there's a bit looking to Francis Cummins to open up the uh, two point lead. Been playing about 12 minutes at the moment. And Cummins just lines up the kick. Strokes it majestically between the uprights. And Leeds have a two points to nil lead. And Jamie Bloom. With that goal, the Francis Cummings. Kicks off slip there as he was uh, kicking that ball off from Richie Ayres. Allowed that to go in to touch through his legs and the ball judged to have touched him. So Bloom's abysmal kick became a really good one and Doncaster will have possession in a really strong position. So Farrah will feed the scrum and... Uh,
Tony Miller, the loose forward. Sonny Wackeroo just taking play to within 10 metres of the Leeds post. Fadder catches Leeds all offside. James Lowe's, Richie Ayres. And Doncaster get the penalty. I'm sure they'll take the kick at goal. Colin Maskill uh, just giving it to Alex Green, who will obviously have the shot at goal, which would bring Doncaster level, should it be successful. Alex Green just teeing the ball up there. Left footed kicker, so it's from his uh, correct side as far as uh, that sort of thing goes. And just uh, creeping inside the uh, upright there. Well, 15 minutes gone then. Doncaster level with a penalty by Alex Green. Scofield then gets the game restarted. Jamie Bloom bringing that ball back and back with some purpose, running straight at Patrick Ontak. And finally, Ontak with the aid of Ellery Hanley bringing him down right on the 20 metres. Teddy Manning looks for a, a gap through there, but there's no way through. James Lowe's and uh, Gary Mercer quickly closing up any thoughts of a gap. Maskell inside ball. For balls. Lingard, that's a good solid strong running there from Lingard into Gary Mercer and Kevin Iroh out on that far touch line side, just in front of the dugouts. Jackson, Hanley bringing him down, he's lost the ball. Gutierrez has it for Leeds. Referee wants a word there with Jackson and Hanley. I didn't see anything that happened untoward in the tackle. But somebody took exception to something that had happened there, and uh, Ellery Hanley and Jackson are judged to be the culprits. Oh, Leeds get the penalty. And puts the liners on the attack again with James Laws. George Mann. Leeds will be looking now to use uh, Harry Howard and the gap opens up there for James Laws and he's in for the try. Oh, he's just short there. That's great play from James Laws. Looks as lively as I've seen him this afternoon. Half James Laws on tap. But cheers. Hanley takes the ball. Go down in that try. Ellery Hanley over. That wide after good work there from on tap and it cheers. The Leeds. Restoring the lead with the try to Ellery Hanley. And now uh, Wayne Jackson must be uh, wishing that he hadn't interfered there. Well, Doncaster must be uh, disappointed at that because the Dell leads fairly well. And um, it was just a silly mistake there on the part of Jackson. Giving away the penalty, Jim Fallon puts the hammer down and gets up to the 20 metres before he's uh, brought down. Alan Tate goes on the decoy run as Gary Mercer brings the ball away from his own quarter. James Lowe's looks quickly, using the short side with Craig and he's in his spots the gap. On tap. Howard, short ball there for Harry Howard. And Howard driving slowly, taking play into the Doncaster half of the field now. And the kick comes in from Schofield, lovely, lazy style of uh, Gary Schofield, which a languid, I would say, rather than lazy. All timing. And puts it right down in the corner where Jamie Bloom 
It's tackled by Hanley in possession with just a little help from uh, Richie Ayres. Farrah there in support. Wakaru just couldn't get the ball away. Maskill goes himself from acting half. Good tackle by Francis Cummings. Tony Manning. Farrah steps, tries to step George Mann, but stepping immediately into trouble there as James Laws comes to make the tackle. Leads all back on side as the last tackle shown, and Maskill puts the ball in. The ball hit Craig Innes and Craig Innes just shouting there that it is uh, to be collected, otherwise it would have been a Doncaster head and feed, but Francis Cummins picks it up, the ball, I think, bouncing well for him there as Alan Tate now bringing this ball away, running across field, spots a gap there, that's a great ball now, Fallon's in space, has he got the legs? He's brought down and pushed in a touch there, riding on the halfway line in front of the dugouts. A good cover defence from Doncaster, Matt Farrer involved, together with the winger. I'll take, put Kevin Ido away there and the winger's pass, the centre's pass to Fallon. Not quite good enough to get him away from the cover. So again we've got uh, Matuatia. Some good solid tackling from Gary Schofield there on Matua Tia. Alex Green. And that's a rock back tackle on Sonny Wakaru from Anley. Harvey Howard. Maskill. And Ido picks up good tackle coming in there from the big number 10, Lingard. George Mann. Ball angling in the middle of the field. That's Alan Tate now. Inside balls for Innes, and this is away. Stepping, coming inside, Keegan is still going, showing the ball. Comes to a stop at Jamie Bloom. Good play from Leeds there. Richie Ayres now. Rich Vayner for Richie Ayres. Lovely ball for Ido. Fallon again. Looking for another try in. Uh, it's rapidly becoming known as Jim Fallon's corner. Harvey Howard. Just takes the ball forward. Schofield again now, Leeds. That's a good charge down kick there. And the referee says that went back there. Well, that was a bit of poor play from Jackson. I think he thought the referee had blown up. He could have got a decent pass away there. Matt Farrow would surely have scored with his pace. Maskill. Successfully ducking under Gary Mercer's tackle, but... Uh, and Jamie Bloom. Gang tackle there. Uh, uh, James Laws. And George Mann, and the ball comes out now. Tony Miller stepping. Alex Green now. There's a bit of space for Alex Green. Just not quite got the legs there. Maskill. Ice the bomb. That's over for that touchline side. Jim Fallon's underneath it. Well, that's poor play from Leeds. Absolutely poor play from Leeds there. Stood six men watching the ball bounce. And Jamie Bloom picking it up. And scoring. And Dougie Lawton will be furious over conceding that try. Only three minutes gone, and Doncaster's first try of the afternoon coming courtesy of that Colin Maskell bomb. No pressure whatsoever on any Leeds player. All stood watching, nobody went to it. Let the ball bounce. And the feeling, as I said at the beginning of this game, that Leeds are really going to get it right one of these days and really put some points on the board, but it doesn't look in the first half effort as though it's today. Doncaster take the lead then.
So Schofield and it's the game underway and Leeds will have to certainly look livelier than that if they do uh, wrestle the lead back from a very keen Doncaster side. Jamie Bloom. Jackson. And that's Kill Acting half looking for the drop off there. And leads quickly into the tackle. Three men in there. Schofield on Tatton Lowe's. Rapping Sonny Wackeru up. Maskell again puts the kick in. That floats down there and will beat everyone and roll over the dead ball line. So Leeds will have a 25. Not seen a lot of Gary Mercer running with the football this afternoon. And George Mann now. This Leeds New Zealand is uh, keeping the ball moving and moving towards halfway, making steady progress. Leeds with Gary Schofield now with the ball in his hands, looks for the short ball. Dummies gives it to Tate. Tate throws out a poor pass which is picked up by Francis Cummins. And Cummins having to go back for that ball. Cheers. And we're up to the last tackle, so Gary Schofield in. Crossfield kick. It's Tony Manning will pick up. Lyon on his own line. And the Leeds chases. But quickly, Patrick Hauntap and Craig Innes. The Farrah's ball finds Jamie Bloom and uh, immediately knocked to the ground. Maskill, hardly penance on for Donka, they didn't see the substitution being made. Inside ball for Tony Miller from Maskill. Well, 26 minutes gone then on the clock as Doncaster. Leading by those eight points to six. Find themselves kicking uh, on the six tackle deep inside their own half of the field. That's a good kick. It takes play into the lead 20 metres where Alan Tate will stop that and pick the ball up. Tate powers his way back. Cummins, lovely ball there for Schofield. Schofield finds Ido. Inside ball, drop off for Jim Fallon. Fallon, on tap. Mercer, that's better football from Leeds. Leeds starting to throw the ball about. Richie Ayers is in space. Well, the ball suddenly came about five yards forward there. But again, Leeds playing some good football and the uh, end result. It matters uh, not quite the right one at the moment. So Farah feeds for Doncaster. And here comes Alex Green with the ball in his hand. And that Farah well wrapped up there and knocked down. Of the pennant. Jamie Bloom runs from acting half. Very strong, particularly close to that line. Scored some great tries for Doncaster this season. Four tackles, Doncaster within 10 metres. Yes, that's a penalty to Leeds. No acting half back there for Doncaster. Bad play by them. I thought for a moment the referee was going to penalise Gary Schofield, but he didn't dive round and interfere. There was no acting half back in place. So, Leeds then have this chance to put some pressure on Doncaster now as they approach half time. Hanley in support as ever gets the ball off Mercer. Straight for Wardley Pennant's tackle. Can't get the ball away. Good tackling from Bloom again. Haunter, inside ball for Dido. Mercer picks up Dido's backflip. Haunter now, inside ball for Dido, Ayers. And Ayers takes ground but leads, keeping the ball alive, trying to get something going. Harvey Howard. 
A little slip there as he got that ball. And as a get there. And Jim Fallon did really well there. It's a slight suspicion of a knock on by a Leeds man. Now the ball coming across with Alan to to Hodgin trying to go himself. Tony Miller bringing him down just 30 metres from the Doncaster line. Tate, quick play the ball to Lowe's. On top with the ball in his hands. Inside ball. It's for theirs. That's good play again, Tate. George Mann, straight out for Fallon. Fallon's in at the corner, is he? Yes, that's a try to Jim Fallon in at the corner. A Jim Fallon special. But the referee says that Fallon was in touch there before he uh, looked like he'd given the, the touch, should you give him the try? So Leeds will be disappointed with that. Fallon looked to have got the ball down before the flag went. But there's good cover on Jim Fallon. Looked all the world has scored in that corner. And the touch judge was nodding his head, but the referee must have changed his mind. Jamie Bloom, good run out of defence. Alex Green. And George Mann brings him down. Pennant. And Pennant stood for what seemed like an eternity there to um, offload the ball with no support. Matter of tear, shrugs off Craig Innes. And James Laws brings him down. Manning. And cleaned out totally there by uh, a good tackle from Harvey Howard. And the ball's back to Bloom, and Bloom kicks towards the corner. And that were rolled dead. So Bloom just not quite got it right there, only a matter of a yard. Too much there on that kick. Cummins. There's no way through for Francis Cummins. From that tap. Mercer. Penalty there against only Pennant for holding down. Pennant is at the moment standing at 6-4 to Leeds and the scrums 4-2 to the Dons. Schofield's kick finds touch. And George Manuel drive forward almost through there. Harvey Howard. The shrug off men there, and that's a silly Tony Miller. That's the proverbial flopper. And Harvey Howard, well fired up, just been sent away by the referee. Can you lay up the south stand crowd below me at a headily thing today? And Simbin Tony Miller well, it was certainly a flop that. Use of the elbow after the man had been tackled. Maskell having a word to say, and Harvey Howard just been told, I think, to curb his temper by referee David Campbell, saying, I'm in charge, don't worry about the flop, I'll sort that out, not you. But Harvey, who uh, is the most mild of mannered of men off the field, you wouldn't believe it when you talk to him. Well fired up there, so Francis Cummins has a chance to put Leeds level. We come up to half time, we've been playing about. 33 minutes now. So Francis Cummins, fairly straight kick. And the vocal support of the Doncaster trying to put Cummins off, but he's and that's succeeded. He's missed that one from straight in front of the post, Francis Cummins, so be disappointed with that.
Tate. And Tate up to halfway before he's brought down, so Leeds will be looking to fire straight back there. George Mann. Tate again, on to Leeds, no line out here at this side, and it's left to Hanley. And he's And on tap, shouting for the ball, they couldn't get into the right position as Craig Innes looked to make the ball available, James Laws. Harvey Howard. Straight through Mark Farris tackle there, that's good play from Leeds and good play from Harvey Howard. Well, Leeds a chance now to spread something, Anley. Come in, goes himself, can't get the ball away, and he's wrapped up there, and we're up to the last tackle. On tap. And Hanley's in for his second try, with a lucky bounce there, as far as Leeds are concerned, but fortune favours the brave, and Leeds are brave to try the kick there. So I reckon about 37 minutes gone. And Hanley's over for his second try, and as he is, but looks forward in my fantasy league. And I'm uh, very happy about that. That'll be putting my points up. A well, good work there from Harvey Howard. Not the regular kicker, of course, at Leeds. That's the normal Judy's got a game all right when he's in the side, but uh, Francis a prodigious, prodigious goal kicker, prolific even in his um, junior days. If he kicks this, it would give Leeds a four-point lead. He's coming up to half-time. And this time it's successful. So 12 points to 8 then. And Doncaster with a... A lot to do now, just coming up to half-time. They won't want to concede another try, just as the half-time Uta approaches. Patrick Onta. Finds Gary Mercer and Mercer, good run out there. That is a really good run out from Gary Mercer. Taking play right outside that 20 metres. George Mann, who's had a good game running out wide. Always looking to, low, to offload the ball in the tackle. James Laws again, runs from action half, makes the extra man. The inside ball's for Innes. Oh, and Innes is straight through the gap there. And nowhere to go for Craig Innes, he had to take the option to go across the field, and that should have been a penalty to Leeds. Interfered in there by Audley Pennant. Which he has brought down, and... Uh, Leeds right back on that 20 metre area, and this would be a disaster for Doncaster if Leeds scored now. On tap, spots the gap. Schofield, Hanley again. Just short of the line for the hat to Gallery Hanley. James Laws finds Schofield. Picked up there by Innes. Oh, and he can't get the ball over on the sixth tackle. Doncaster wanting a quick play of the ball there with Bowles. Alex Green, and there's men in space here if he can get through, but he can't get through there. That's a good tackle coming in from Hanley. Bloom again, willing workhorse for Doncaster, Jamie Bloom this afternoon, taking the ball up at every opportunity. In fact, that was uh, not Jamie Bloom, just a similar haircut from up here on the gantry in the uh, fading light. And Jackson brings play up to halfway, so they look like they've lost the impetus of the uh, chance to score the try, which would have put them well clear at half time. Bloom tries a chip over. 
And Alan Tate, well picked up there. Brave play from Alan Tate. Up to halfway. Laws acres of space for Jimmy Laws this afternoon. Of course, Laws very strong. And Maskell interfering there at the play of the ball. Or 40 minutes on the clock. And Leeds have got Richie Hayes powering forward. Right on the 20 metres. And there can't be more than a two or three tackles left to play if that now. So we approach the end of this first half. So if Leeds were to score now, it would be indeed disaster. And Fallon Ware put it through the gap, but went without the ball. Well, that's unbelievable. That was a try there for the taking. Fallon lost the ball and Doncaster come away with it there. Hanley brings Bloom down and three other Leeds men all in the tackle. Alex Green. And again, man at either side there, Alex Green plays the ball to himself. He's lost the football. And a knock on. Alex Green losing the ball in the tackle, so an exciting 40 minutes coming to an end where both sides have led. And Doncaster again, as I said at the beginning, not come here to lie down this afternoon. And uh, they've certainly given Leeds a ride in this first half. And Francis Cummins almost through there. The ball's out to Iredo, now Iredo finds Fallon. Mercer's ball finds Richie Ayres. And Ayres looking to find Fallon out on the far side, but not possible as Leeds come forward again, so... James Lowe's finds Iredo. And takes in... And Schofield and Schofield's over for a try. Well, that'll be a disaster for Doncaster right on the stroke of half time. Good play there from Kevin Iro. So good play down that touchline side there. Tate involved. It's a lovely ball inside, Jamie Bloom was coming across in the pass there. Plus Schofield allowed him to go in. 16 points to eight then, and surely the half-time Uta will go after Francis Cummins' his kick. And Leeds have made Doncaster pay. Francis Cummins. Successful conversion, that's a great kick from Francis Cummings. And there goes a hold of a half time then. With Leeds leading here by 18 points to eight, and Doncaster must be absolutely destroyed at that last try there. Right on the stroke of half time. It was Leeds that opened with a Cummings penalty after 12 minutes. Green replied some five minutes later, and it was two all. Then Hanley had the first of his two tries. Not goal by Cummings, six points to two. Bloom had a try after poor play from Leeds, letting the ball bounce. Green converting in Doncaster late for the first time in the game. Leads it back with two tries in the last three minutes. Hanley, first of all, scoring after a fortunate bounce from Leeds. Cummins converted it with 12-8, and then Gary Schofield going over. Cummins again converting, 18 points to eight then. News at half-time from Eddingley. Leeds 18, Doncaster 8.
So Jamie Bloom gets the second half restarted with Doncaster trailing by those 16 points to eight and it's Francis Cummins to run the ball back for Leeds. And that's good running from Cummins, he takes that out to uh, past the 20 metre mark. And Gary Mercer will now uh, follow on, runs through Mark Farrer there and well brought down by Farrer in the end. George Mann. Oh, and James Laws again, acres of space at acting half. And now Harvey Howard, and there's a gap up the middle of the field, and he's got some pace as Harvey Howard. And Tate puts the ball down from Howard's pass there, and another try goes begging for Leeds. That marking square, Gary Schofield, so... Leeds after spurn impossible try scoring chance and see the penalty, the first half penalties. Well, they were 7 4 to Leeds and the scrums were 4 3 to the Dons. Last kill spots a gap there, but that quickly closed Harry Howard in. Matt Farah finds uh, Lingard, and Lingard is uh, wrapped up there and ball. And Leeds have done well this afternoon at wrapping up the ball carrier. Jamie Bloom had to reach back for that ball, but took it well in the end. So Doncaster putting on some pressure now. Good play there from Miller, George Mann. And Doncaster right in front of the Leeds post. Maskill looks to go himself there, up to the last tackle now. Farad acting now, finds Jackson. Jackson's kick is cleaned up by Francis Cummins, but he won't get back from over his own line. Good defence there from Doncaster. And Leeds will drop out from under their own post and Leeds have an injury to Patrick Conte, I think, on the floor. And the little man is out. The referee wisely uh, holds up the clock. Seamus signalling that uh, Seamus McCallion that is signalling that uh, Patrick there is uh, is going to the blood bin. So he must have uh, copped a knock, and the lead substitute will come on. I think it's going to be. Uh, Let's see if I'm Marlow. So this will take some uh, rejigging. Uh, interesting to see what Leeds do on attack. I'm Marlow takes his place. And Schofield now puts that drop. Out right for Jamie Bloom on the halfway line. And Hanley there and uh, Craig and he's trying to take Jamie Bloom out towards the touchline side. Terry Manning. Good tackle from Feimalo, getting involved as soon as he comes on the field. Jackson again, play back.
Jamie Bloom. Box off Harry Howard there as he went through, bouncing off like a billiard ball. And again, Doncaster with Tony Miller. Inside balls from Askill, he'd love to score. Matt Farah trying to wriggle his way out of tackles. Alan Tate brings him down. We're up to the last tackle now again. And Doncaster have just had lesions under all sorts of pressure. Askill's kick goes too far. And Leeds got a tap on the 20 metres. So a little spell of pressure there. Kevin Iro. And that's good defence from Doncaster. Because Iroh was looking to. Uh, Move away quickly there. James Laws inside ball for Gary Mercer and back to Laws again in support. Nice feed, Craig Innes with a bit of space down that far flank. The ball comes out. And a knock on. Craig looking at the uh, referee there, He's claiming the ball had been stolen. Matt Farrell and quickly feeding, finding Matt to a tear. And Jeremy Bloom has the legs on Eleni Hanley. And James Laws and Abby Howard is opening you down, Maskell's inside ball again. Tony Miller. But it's Doncaster who've shown all the early promise in this second half. That's good play. Glenn Lingard again, play taken into that lead 20 metre area. Maskill. The three going to have something to say there. And Garvey Howard and uh, Colin Maskill not come out of that skirmish too well. Farrow coming off and Brendan Carlisle comes on and uh, Doncaster get the penalty. And Alex Green will have a kick at goal. Well, Green will... Uh, Donkers in the double figures if he kicks this one. So here comes uh, Alex Green as again, it's a left footed kick, similar to position to the one he uh, kicked in the first half, but at the other end of the field, of course. And he's upped it wide, so that's a bad miss. Um, let's go down with Francis Cummins. His miss is a bad one today. That's two bad misses. And Harry Howard doesn't want to be replaced. And he's making his way to the touchline side now as... Uh, Jamie Bloom tries to go forward for Doncaster. It was a good game, Abby Howard, and is uh, going in for some stitches, I think. Clash of heads with Colin Maskell. So Don's coming back again now at Leeds. On a great tackle from Neil Armand as he came on the field there. Tony Miller. Alan Tate. Steps Miller, good play there from Tate. But Manning. 
loses the ball and that's got to be a penalty there, stripped out there. And absolutely no doubt about that. Neil Harmon, he'll be keen to make a big impact coming on early in the second half. Fine Marlow again. So leads both the substitutes on the field now. It's going inside balls for days. Well, that's a good tackle from Tony Miller on Richie Ayres. Bringing him down, copybook style. Ayrow now in space. Looks to go himself. Not seen much of the big key with this afternoon. One good run which put Jim Fallon away. James Lowe's again, spots the gap. I think it's... Uh, A high tackle there. And James Law's not too impressed, I can tell you. So Maskell probably just a little bit too fired up on his return to Edinley. So Francis Cummins will have a kick for goal. Three from five this afternoon. And lining up the uh, kick now is uh, Francis Cummins. Francis Cummins striking that ball. Successfully through the middle, so Leeds hit the 20-point mark. Twenty points to eight then leads in the lead. It's fifteen minutes or so gone of this second half. And Hanley. Who despite scoring two tries that are quite afternoon by his standards. In this game uh, in danger of uh, degenerating if uh, referee doesn't get a grip on it. Neil Harmon, and he's still the gap, Neil Harmon. Schofield quickly up to play the ball. That's good play from Leeds. Tate. Richie Ayres, that's good play. Richie Ayres in space. Can't get the ball away there. Look to pull the defenders to him and slip the pass, but Jackson did ever so well. Schofield. Mercer now out wide. And Schofield's in for a try. Another lucky bounce for Leeds. But kicked on there. And Gary Schofield. Well, there's no way back for Doncaster now. And Jamie Blum's complaining, but there was no knock on there at all. And in Mercer's pass just was thrown back inside. Pig and overran it. And Gary Schofield following up, kicked the ball on and was first to the old touchdown. Francis Cummins successfully converts
A five from seven from Francis Cummins this afternoon. And the Leeds uh, supporters below me underneath the gantry there getting uh, quite excited now. The thought of Leeds running in some points. Well, certainly if they win this one, Leeds will remain second in the table, which will set up a clash in a fortnight's time for Wigan. Which incidentally sees the start of the new uh, Venture Radio Headingley, which will broadcast in a match day similar to the ones in operation at uh, Blackburn Rovers, Manchester United and Nordic City. It's a new venture for Rugby League. And Leeds get the penalty. Holding down in the tackle was the, the judgment of the referee, David Campbell. I'll say the new venture for Leeds. The radio heading 14 13 am, 11 while six match days, hosted by yours truly, Stuart Duffy. So, a new venture for Leeds and a new venture for Rugby League. Neil Harmon then. And he's uh, been in tremendous form since he came on the field, as, as this man has seen, if I'm and all the Leeds forwards looking keen this afternoon. Schofield finds George Mann. Schofield again inside ball for Ido. Oh, and the space there for Ido. And he's away, Ido. Pass far too early there to Ellery Hadley. Jamie Bloom, great defensive play, but Leeds stretching the cover now. Surely there must be a try here. Kenny Mercer heads for the post. That's a try. And Leeds looking as though they could run away with this game now. Well, the ball from Iro there to um, Ellery Hanley was well read by Jamie Bloom. It's good full back play. Perhaps Iro would have uh, thought he'd passed too early, but Jamie Bloom that would take credit away from the uh, full back. Means converts. <laughs> Tony Ball's coming on for the uh, oddly pennant. The Stonecaster ring the changes to just to try and keep the score down now. A pair of fresh legs. That was the earlier substitution in the first half. It's 20 minutes left for play. And Leeds closing now at 32 points to eight. To, so will they uh, go the whole hog and entertain the fans this afternoon? <laughs> Hanley just uh, pushing off the first tackler, which is Brendan Carlisle. And again, big gaps for James Laws. Mercer. Schofield, good play. Takes in the line. Oh, and gets Cummins away on a gallop. And Francis Cummins looking to roll the ball back there, but knocked into touch. Oh, good enterprising stuff again by Leeds, opening the ball out at the earliest possible opportunity. So Doncaster a bit of respite, they should have possession from this scrum, which they do. Uh, six of the afternoon in the Leeds defence. Relentlessly up tackling Jamie Bloom. Alex Green. Mike Neal, who's on loan from Wigan. Not seen a lot of him this afternoon. And this is his last game before his loan spell is up. Alex Green. 
Good play, Jamie Bloom. That's good play from Doncaster. Moving the ball wide. Teddy Manning. Now has he got the legs? Oh, Jim Fallon coming back there and cleaned him up. For a moment, Tim Manning's eyes saw the, the whitewash. Out the back door, that was good play again. Bending Carlisle running across the face. And a good tackle from Craig Innes. So Doncaster on the last tackle, but looking to keep the ball alive. Schofield, well, he's got the length of the field to go, and I think those days have come from Gary Schofield. He's taking a knock there from Tilly Manning. And the touch should just come on. And uh, touch judge on immediately for something that happened right under his nose. In fact, it's a punch. So Schofield picks up the penalty. Well, that's a bad mistake, not finding touch. So Jamie Bloom will bring back for Doncaster. Great play from the Dons there, right into the leads. 20 metres, superb football, great run by Jamie Bloom. Just pulled back by the shirt, Terry Manning. Alan Tate and Neil Harmon holding him up. Maskill steps the first man, Jamie Bloom. Just slipped there as he went to sidestep. And that's a penalty there, passing out after the referee had shouted, held. Jamie Bloom saying he didn't hear it. And that's happened twice this afternoon. And so the referee not endearing himself to the Dons fans, and this time Gary Schofield makes no mistake with the kick. By Marlow. Neil Harmon. Oh, and a smack there in the face, right under the referee's nose. Fumbles. Oh, and Schofield's away now, he's got Richie Hayes with him. And he's got Hanley. Oh, has Hanley got the legs on Bloom? He has this time. That's Hanley's hat trick. That's a great tie for Leeds. Second hat trick of the season there for the lead skipper, Delaney Hanley. Great play from Leeds. Well, Alan Hanley looked to score it at Doncaster and Jamie Bloom. Uh, 20 to catch him, but not this time. The play came from a play of the ball. James Lowe's quickly found Schofield and it looked to loop up, but George Mann pulled everybody, went himself, stepped the tackle, found Gary Schofield, got Hanley on his inside. Ayers on his right, turned Jamie Bloom inside out and Hanley the strength and the pace to go over to the side of the post. Great play from Gary Schofield and great play from Melanie Hanley. Well, 65 minutes gone then. Cummins converts. Thirty-eight points to eight. So with still 15 minutes to go, Leeds will be looking to see if they can rattle up the 50 points and the way they're playing at the moment in this second half. Suggests that they can do that. They seem to be able to score virtually at will now. It's going to take a big defensive effort for the Dons if they're to uh, prevent Leeds from scoring the 12 points that they would need. And just Cummins coming in field, getting in on the action. Loss using Neil Armand on the short side. 
the done second row pair there certainly wrapping people up for Asini Famalo sidestepping swarming on pushing in the touch Come right underneath the gantry now. And then Carlisle will feed for Doncaster. Jamie Bloom. Oh, good play there from Matuatio. Oh, that's a great tackle. I can't see who that is who made that tackle. He got a kick in the face for his pains. It was Craig in his. And Jamie Bloom taking play into the leads. 20 metres, Alex Green. Maskill. Running around with Green. Poor pass. Tony Miller. That's a penalty. Time to kick through. Leeds holding a man down without the ball. So no uh, word. Look at the goal this time. Eleven thousand six hundred and fifty-seven. That's a great crowd here this afternoon. Tremendous attendance for Doncaster, 11,657. Well, the next home match officially at Leeds, unless we're drawn at the Regal Trophy. As Bendon Carlisle tries to dive under the tackle, is there for the try. Jackson can't get the ball away. Great defence from Leeds. And Doncaster have meant to spare if they can get quick passing out on that far side. A forward pass there to Terry Manning from Maskill resulted in Manning being absolutely smashed into the sideboards there. Great defence from Leeds. I'm saying the next scheduled match here, providing the Regal Trophy home draw next week, is against Wigan. And there should be at least 20,000 spectators here. Always a great atmosphere, Wigan come. They're heading late. It is the match of the season in Rugby League. Leeds and Wigan. It's the uh, Liverpool and uh, Manchester United of the soccer world, it's the Yorkshire Lancashire at cricket, it is the match in the rugby league season, Gary Schofield feeds his scrum, George Mann who's now going to stand off, is well wrapped up, Leeds opening out now with Ido, and the big man's away in the middle of the field, and storming running there from Kevin Ido, Up to his feet, plays the ball, Schofield, Tate. And he's looping round the back of Tate there for Tate's pass. But Ayers. Good running from Ayers, looking for support there. George Mann again, dodging, weaving. Looks to go himself, and he's just to find Gary Mercer. I know. <laughs> David Campbell gives a knock on there. The ball looks to go well back from Fine Marlow's hand. So Doncaster, the. Uh, which gives them their eighth of the afternoon and the respite Tony Miller and certainly with Newell have been tackled there by, uh, by Marlow Maskill this is out Jackson and the ball moving across there Mike Neal inside drop off for, for Terry Manning Bloom steps through Schofield's tackle and away Jamie Bloom now has Alan Tate got that 
and Bloom steps out of the three leads tacklers and goes over for the try. Well, that's a great try, and it's to capture a great game for Jamie Bloom. Two leads men clean him up, but allowed him to get up and carry on without being effectively tackled. Well, great try for Jamie Bloom. Doncaster supporters will be pleased with that one. And looks uh, tremendous fullback does Jamie Bloom. Well, 71 minutes gone then in this second half. Francis Cummins came in and uh, over the top and Alan Tate round the bottom, but Bloom managed to get to his feet and go over for the try. And that's just reward, two tries for Jamie Bloom, who's been far their most effective player in the uh, Doncaster side this afternoon. Maskell's trying hard, Matt Farrell is on, supported everything, and good uh, efforts from Matuatia and the forwards, but really Jamie Bloom, the one player that they must look to if they're to uh, survive in the first division this season. Schofield, 38 points to 12, 73 minutes on the clock. Schofield's kick. Finds Teddy Manning. Hanley. Finds Bowes. Sonny Wackeroo, Jackson, and passing there surely held Tony Miller, Mike Neal again, and that's a good tackle from Jim Fallon on Bloom there as he caught the ball. To the last tackle, Maskill puts boot to ball. Ball bouncing away from Alan Tate. Put the legs on Jamie Bloom, Alan Tate straight through the middle. And lucky for Doncaster there that the tackle was made because there was a gap straight down the middle of the field for Alan Tate. Cheers. Well, Doncaster going in for another try, and he's dropped the ball, and he might well put his hands on his head, Craig Innes. Doncaster, two tries in two minutes, making the score look respectable. Try to matter with Tia. Somebody five minutes in, 38 points to 16. Alex Green. Converts. Thirty-eight points to eighteen. Tony Hanley gets the man of the match for Leeds. Masco catches the ball from the kick-off, and Sonny Wackerell comes charging down. brought down there, good tackle from Neil Harmon. Jackson takes playing to the leads half of the field, so Doncaster 
coming strongly again in the last minutes of this game. Drop off ball there. Well, it's amazing how that can. Well, I don't guess they're going in for another try here. So the last tackle and the knock on signal by the referee. So it's amazing that that was not classed as a knock-on, but the Asini for Milo one right below our common position in virtually the same was uh, classed as a knock-on. It's that consistency of referees that uh, people ringing on phones about. Schofield then feeds a scrum, brings Francis Cummins on a run. Mercer steps back inside. James Laws acting out, so will Leeds look to uh, put more points on the board as we approach the end of the game? They certainly play some entertaining football this afternoon, and so have Doncaster. The big Leeds pack just proving too strong, making all the ground and Hilary Hanley, of course, inspirational leader. That's good play, Schofield. Finds Tate, there's a gap there for Alan Tate. Puts the hammer down, Tate. Kevin Iro, back again to Tate. Tate dodging, weaving, there must be players to spare over on that far side, but Alan Tate takes a tackle. And if Leeds can get a quick play of the ball here while the Doncaster defence is regrouping, there must be a try on that far side. George Mann's long ball finds Schofield. And finally, in he struggles with the ball and puts it down. That's twice he's dropped the ball in the last couple of minutes, Craig, and he's furious with himself. Penalty against Ellery Hanley. So has the last chance for Leeds to put points on the board gone. Doncaster will certainly hope so as Jamie Bloom finds touch. Bows. Maskill. Kicked over the top, so that'll be a scrum heading ball to lead. And the Doncaster in the uh, yellow shirts with the blue shorts, that's their change strip. So as not to clash with Leeds. Schofield feeds, misses out Fallon, George Manns. Lost the ball in the tackle. So that's been the story of the back end of this uh, game. Leeds losing the ball with regularity, and uh, Doncaster will be looking to put more points on the board. Jamie Bloom. Mato Atia pumping off tackle is there. The Leeds man hurt there. Last kill. Hanley brings him down. It's James Laws. A good tackle from Kevin Iro. Doncaster now piling on some pressure. Alex Green tries to go through. He's lost the ball. Well, surely the referee's seen that. Well, that's unbelievable. How on earth could David Campbell and the touch judges miss that? The ball bounced three times. And it's Schofield picks up for Leeds. So Lowe's is OK, back to his feet and back to acting half.
Fai Marlo. Well, 80 minutes up on the clock now. And leads. Again, James Lowe's looking to go himself. Schofield. Chips over. Hanley picks up. Feeds Schofield. Oh, that just too hard there. For the chasing Ellery Hanley. And Richie Hayes. Nunca will be looking for a quick tap here. So again, enterprising play between Schofield and Hanley there. Jim Fallon in, flying in for tackles there off the wing. Maskell. A knock on, Les Leeds went to pick the ball up. James Lowe's was tackled, so whether we'll have time for this scrum remains to be seen. I think George Mann is going to work the feed this time. Well, that'll be a first in... Certainly in his time at Leeds. But successful Schofield juggling with the ball, finds Innes. Run around there. Oh, Alan Tate there looking to uh, move that ball in the tackle. George Mann stepping, twisting, turning. Mercer. Oh, and Ido going without the ball. But Leeds certainly entertaining to the last time to throw the ball around. Alex Green now for Doncaster. Sonny Wacker who's wrapped up by Jim Fallon. Good tackle there from Fallon. Jamie Bloom again. Strong and it takes a good tackle from Ellery Hanley to bring him down. Tony Miller just uh, looking to change pace as he comes away, straight into James Lowe's and wrapped to the floor. And again the referee says that went backwards. And Neil Harmon picks up Greg Innes now, he's got Matua Tia to beat on the outside, can't do it. Mercer. James Lowe's quickly now, Scofield with the ball in his hands, looks to go himself. Can't get the ball away. In the tackle, there's good tackle coming in, and Brendan uh, Carlisle is who makes sure. Cheers. Looking to go through the gap. The gap quickly closing up and Doncaster short of men on the far side. James Laws will find George Mann. And there goes a hooter, so that's the end of the game as far as Leeds are concerned. 38 points to 18 they've won here. Convincing style out of A couple of late tries for Doncaster to make the score respectable. It was Leeds who won the second half in the 53rd minute with a penalty leading. 18-8 at half-time. Francis Cummins penalty made it 20 points to 8. Scoville had a try, Mercer had a try, Hanley had a try, all between the 53rd and the 65th minute. Cummins converted all three. Ellery Hanley was his attic, it was 38 points to eight. And Jamie Blum scored a good try for Doncaster and Matuatia. Taking advantage of taking his drop of the ball. Green converting, it was 38 points to 18. Well, the penalties, well, they went 13 to eight to Leeds and the scrums. And they were taken 8-7 by Doncaster. And Francis Cummins, a good day for him. And the kicking seven out of nine. That's good goal kicking anybody's book. So if victory here for Leeds, 
and defeat for Doncaster, but a brave battling performance from Doncaster. Leeds running out on his end, 38 points to 18. Leeds 38, Doncaster 18. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I mean, you can't say they pull you down to their level, but you know they go out to spoil and they go out to get amongst you, and that's what they did. I thought we played at times too much of checking football. I think I think we did. Yeah, we get a bit excited, you know, in a few times in the game, and we, we try and run it where we should just make the yards and work for the kick. Yeah. I thought the pack played well, they? particularly again, always backing up and always supporting everything. Well, I mean, he's there every time. And, I mean, if I back up, he always seems to be shoving me out, so he's always there, so you know, just to learn from him. And what was it like playing against Colin Maskell? You played with him a few times. Oh, well, yeah, you know, Colin, he, he's good at talking and he, he, you always hear him. But, uh, yeah, he played well, didn't he? And the goal kicking, Francis, you've taken over the goal kicking responsibilities while Graham's out the side, does it affect you? Not really, no. I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy kicking. I'm a bit mad at myself about missing the two, really. I mean, I should really back heel them over, but there you go. So you just do your best. And you tell us about the under-21 international where you played against Australia. You moved into the centre early on. Think you find yourself happy in that position? I did, yeah. I mean, with under it's OK here, you know, with Craig, Kevin, they'll get your ball over there. I had a lot of ball today, but um, you do find yourself getting a lot more ball in the centre, and that's I felt a lot more comfortable when I moved there. And you see that being the eventual position at Leeds? Well, I don't care. I could play anywhere for Leeds. OK, well, thanks for talking. It's all the best for the rest of the season. Cheers, Stuart.